लार्ज गैदरिंग ऑफ काउंटलेस स्टार्स इज कॉल्ड द गैलेक्सी ऑन एन एवरेज आ गैलेक्सी हैज 10000 क्रोस ऑफ स्टार्स फोर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सन आर फर्स्ट वन द सन हैज हीट एंड लाइट सेकंड वन द अर्थ इज इन द मोशन सेंटर इन द सन थर्ड वन द सन इज अ ह्यूज गैस चेंबर एंड लास्ट वन देयर आर इज हाइड्रोजन एंड हीलियम इन द सन नाउ कम टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 How are the solar system, the Milky Way galaxy, and the universe interrelated? The answer is the sun is the center of our solar system, and the planet and satellites in this solar system are revolving around the sun. And the sun is just a part of one of the many galaxies. On an average, a galaxy has ten thousand crores of stars, and like the sun, Milky Way. is one of many galaxies in the space again all these things are part of the universe so it is still expanding thus the solar system the milky way galaxy and universe are interrelated come to next question when the northern half of the earth tilts towards the sun what happens to the height of the sun and the length of the day and night come to the answer we know the tilt of the earth exists and its orbit around the sun causes seasons As the Earth revolves around the Sun, different parts of the Earth tilt towards or away from the Sun. When the northern hemisphere tilts towards the tilts towards the Sun, the sunlight falls vertically on the Earth's surface. The Sun appears to rise higher in the sky at noon. The position of the Sun becomes directly above our head. During this time, the area of the day is increased and the night time is decreased thus we can say it is summer on the northern hemisphere therefore as northern hemisphere tilts towards the sun sun rises up in the sky and day become longer and night shorter now come to question number 10 explain the change of moon's phase phases using a model of sun moon and earth Come to answer. At the first, we take three square walls at different shape. The bigger one is sun. The second biggest is earth, and the smallest one is the moon. Sunlight makes one half of the moon bright. The other remains dark. Sometimes, when the moon moves round the earth, we see the whole bright part. The moon, <coughs> whole bright part. It will be part. whole bright part of the moon sometimes we see a part of the bright area along with a part of the bright sorry it will be along of other dark half sometimes the dark area of the moon fully faces the earth sometimes while moving round the earth the moon comes between the earth and the sun as a result there appears the dark night of the new moon that is on vosha we can explain it by square balls if we place the moon in between the earth and sun it will be dark night of the new moon and we will mark this stage at on vosha but during the later stages while the moon moves round the earth a part of its bright half phases the earth at this time we see a slice of moon this changes of moon takes place in stages then this moon takes this will be 28 days 28 days to complete its cycle called lunar month along with this question answer you have to draw this figure now come to the next question last 5 December 2015 was full moon and the 20 December 2015 was new moon and what is the reason I write two differences between new moon and full moon come to the answer on the 5th December 2015 the bright half part of the moon due to sunlight faces the earth while the moon was moving around the earth so 5th December was full moon during or uh, again on the 20th december 2015 the moon was in between the sun and the earth while moving moved the earth while moving the earth then 
so the dark half of the moon faces the earth that day of the the moon was not seen that day resulting new moon the two differences between a full moon and a new moon are shown below now come to the differences that is full moon and that is new moon during a full moon we can see full of the lighted side and during new moon we can't see any of the lighted side and second one during full moon the earth lies between the sun and the moon and during new moon the moon lies between sun and the earth now come to the last question of this chapter this is question number 12 what is earth's rotation write three sentences of why the sun seems to move from east to west across the sky the answer is while revolving the sun earth spins or rotates on its axis like a spinning top the spinning motion of the earth on its axis is called earth's rotation if we observe the everyday sun it seems to us and that sun rises in the east in uh, in the morning and sets in the west at the end of the day actually the earth is moving around the sun the sun seems to be moving from the eastern sky to the western sky because of the earth's rotation in its own axis from the west to east now this is your homework number 20 you have to write cbq question answer 5 as your homework and you have to submit on 29th may that is Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Dear students, I have finished my today's topic. You have to learn all this question answer and you have to read the chapter so properly. Exam is knocking your door. So do the SW and learn the question answer. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.